Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are decluttering my lipsticks. As you can see, this drawer is an absolute disaster and it is in definite need of some decluttering. Um, a lot of these lipsticks are pretty old um, or I just don't reach for them and don't wear them that often. I do have my favorite lipsticks and the ones that I wear most often up on my vanity. Um, I will show you guys after uh, we declutter this. But I basically rarely dig into this drawer, which is an absolute shame. Um, so yeah, that is why we are going to get rid of a few things. And with a few things, I actually mean a lot. As you guys can see, I got some new drawer systems. Um, these are deeper than the Alex 9 drawers and also way prettier. Again, I'll show you guys um, after we decluttered. But I'm going to stop rambling because we have a lot of work to do. So yeah. The first things I'm going to declutter are these lipsticks right here. These are by Primark. There's nothing wrong with them, but I just never use them. So yeah, they can go. I'm just going to start by grabbing things that can go and then we will rearrange and see what happens. Um, these are all my ColourPop liquid lipsticks and like satins. Um, but honestly, a lot of these are really, really, really old. Um, so right off the bat, I can see that, for example, Donut, this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is disgusting, so that can go. It is all like separated. Same with this one, which is called Midi. I've had this way, way, way too long. That is disgusting. So those will be binned. Um, and anything that is not expired, I will give to friends and family because almost everything in here is already used. Um, Stingray, I think I will get rid of this too because I have on my Jeffree Star called Androgyny that is a dupe for this and again it is separated so yeah. Then we have Limbo right here, again going to get rid of this, it's old. Um, Moon Dancer on the other hand I am going to keep. Um, I love this shade and as you can see it hasn't separated yet so this one can stay. Um, Chaps is also one I'm going to keep. Um, what else? We have Viper which is an ultra matte lip. Um, I am going to get rid of this, I just don't really like the color. It's also the thing with makeup, now that I have been wearing makeup for so many years, I know what works and what doesn't for my skin tone, so yeah. I'm going to try to reposition the camera, that way you guys can see it a little bit better. Alright, then we have the Kathleen Lights Ultra Satin Lips, this is Lumiere, I'm going to keep this one. Times Square is an Ultra Matte, I am going to keep that because this is a fairly new one. Um, Trap used to be one of my favorite liquid lipsticks, but it is so old and it's not really my kind of shade anymore, so this can go as well. We have the shade Chi, which I'm going to keep. I really like the shade. Um, then we have Beeper and Bumble. These are, again, really pretty shades, but I've had these for years and you can see the oil is actually separated so again they can go this used to be my favorite red ever it's called saigon i think this was with i love sarai not sure but i've had this for way too long again and it looks disgusting on the inside so unfortunately i'm going to part ways with this one even though it is one of my favorite shades ever it's so pretty if you're looking for a perfect red shade go for saigon i don't know if they still have it but it's so pretty. Then I have the shade Love Bug. This one flaked on me even though it is a pretty shade, so bye bye And then we have Tool, which again, disgusting. Then I have one last um, Colourpop one in here. This is the Mamacita shade, which is fairly new, so this can stay as well. So these are the six Colourpop ones that I am keeping. Um, then I still have three liquid lipsticks in that container. Oh, <laughs> so I have an MUA one and then I have two uh, NYX ones. I might keep the NYX ones, but I am going to get rid of the MUA one. All right, that was already pretty good if you ask me. <clears throat> then moving on to the next container, I have two lip products by Catrice. This is a lip gloss and a, um, what is this? Comfortable matte liquid lipstick. These are pretty new, so I am going to hold on to these two. Um, then I see all of my LA Girl liquid lipsticks in here. I'm going to get rid of these because I have had these for way too long again. This Viva liquid lipstick I am going to keep. In the back here I have um, two, um, what are these called? Too Faced liquefied long ring lipsticks and this is a Catrice 
oh I'm not in frame a Catrice dewy full lip I'm going to get rid of all of these this one I didn't like and these ones are again I've had these for years so they're expired then I have these two by Catrice I don't like these they can go this one by Essence is a lip gloss I think but again wasn't really a big fan this can go as well this is a cushion lip cream by Wet n Wild and then this is an Essence Make Me Matte Lip uh, Top Coat, which can go as well, didn't really work. This is a gloss by Buxom, it's so pretty, it's in Dolly, but oh my god, I think I've had this for like 7 years, so bye bye uh, What else? I have a NARS lip gloss in here in this shade. I don't even know what shade it is, but again, way too old. Um, I have a Chanel gloss in here, um, this is in this shade. 756 um, I'm going to hold on to this because this was a present for my birthday these two glosses by NYX again I've had them for way too long same with all of these except for the intense butter gloss which is this one right here I've had these for years now so yeah not really my shade this can go it's by Tarte this I never use same with this one this is just another shade this is a Pupa liquid lipstick I really like this so I'm going to hold on to that this is a Kathy Doll liquid lipstick, haven't tried it yet, so I definitely want to give it a go. This used to be my favorite lipstick, this is the Jordana Modern Matte lipsti lipstick. Um, this is a maybe, I don't know if I'm going to keep it, I'm going to put it in a maybe pile. Then I have a lip primer by NYX, doesn't really do anything so that can go. A Catrice Matte Lover lipstick pen and one by Buxom. The one by Buxom used to be one of my holy grails. But this is way too old and this is one I don't really enjoy, so these can go. One by Sephora, which I haven't worn in years, so bye-bye. Then I have two bullet lipsticks by Catrice. I think these are pretty new. Um, I know that I didn't really love this one, which is the matte one. <clears throat> but since it's pretty new, I'm going to hold on to it for like... Um, reference and then I have the plumping gel lipstick in 020 which I did really enjoy this can also go never use it um, then I have these liquid suede by NYX I don't know I don't know what to do with these so I'm going to put them in the maybe pal this one by Kiko I really used to enjoy as well but I just don't wear stick um, like lip products so there's no point in me keeping it and then this is another stick uh, lip product by covergirl so again I'm going to get rid of it then I have this liquid lipstick. This one is by Kathy Doll again. Let me just swatch it really quick. I'm sorry if I don't swatch everything, but it's just going to be way too long then. Mm, I do really like that shade. I'm going to hold on to this. Then here in the front, which you guys didn't see, I have an Etude House lipstick. I'm going to keep this because it's just so pretty. And this is one of the things that I keep for the packaging alone. The shade is also pretty, but not really my kind of shade. And then I have three products by By Beauty. Um, I love these, but I've had them for years now, and these are like natural lip products. So these will have gone bad by now, so I'm going to throw them away. But I did really enjoy these, and I wore them a lot. So this is in Glacé, and then we have two like duos right here, but yeah. I'm going to get rid of these. Then in the back here, I have these three... Um, glosses from Bath and Body Works for the holidays. Um, I do enjoy these, so I'm going to hold on to these for now. Alright, so I'm going to rearrange it and put my lipsticks in the first container. Alright, moving on to this little container. This has some lipsticks in it, like bullet lipsticks. Um, let's see. These three by Milani can go. This drawer just has way too many um, products in here that are expired. Um, this is a Tarte lipstick, which I have never worn. This is going in a maybe pile because I don't know what to do with it. And then I have a Kiko lipstick, which is really pretty, so I'm going to hold on to this one. Then I have two by Beauty lipsticks. This one is, I think, a purple one. Yeah. I don't know why I bought this, like, no clue. But this is not my kind of shade and I never wear it, so unfortunately that will have to go. And then I also have a mini one right here. This is in the shade Chai. And this is again going in the Maybe Pal. <clears throat> then I have one last lipstick. This is a Lime Crime lipstick in the shade Coquette. This used to be all the rave on YouTube, but honestly, 
it's way too light for me. I am never going to wear that. So, mm, yeah, I'm going to throw it away. That was a hard one. So we have one empty lip container. Moving on to the next one. This is my Dose of Colors Mickey Lip Gloss. I am for sure going to keep this. Then I have this Recon Liquid Lipstick, um, which is a very unique gray shade and I don't have anything like it, which is why I'm going to keep it. This Oeva lipstick is again so old and so light. I used to really love it, but I don't know how I pulled that off. Um, so unfortunately, it's time to say um, bye to that one. Then I have another lip gloss by Alverde. I do really enjoy this. So this one could stay. Then I have these two minis. Um, I never use these. So maybe someone else will enjoy those. And then I have two Marc Jacobs lipsticks. This is a red one, which if I want to wear a color like this, I'm going to wear a liquid lipstick. So again, maybe someone else might enjoy that. And this is another red one, so that can go as well. So we have another empty container. Moving on to this container, let's see what we have here. Um, these are all by Revlon, which I've had for years again, so I'm going to part ways with these. It's finally time, and again, I never reach for them. Same with these two by Urban Decay. They are so old, and they're just not my kind of shade. Ooh, ew, there's also mold on this one. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, there it is. This one has mold on it. That is disgusting. So I will definitely trash both of these. This is a lipstick by Topshop, um, which is... Mm, not my kind of shade. If I wear that, it will be in a liquid lipstick. Um, then I have this one by An Other Stories, um, which I haven't really given a try yet. Like, I tried it once for a video, but never since. And it is a beautiful shade, so I might hold on to it. It just got stuck in the back. Um, but maybe now I will use it more. Next, we have three um, lipsticks by P2. Um... I think I'm going to get rid of these two shades and keep this one because it looks more up my alley. Mm, actually, no. That's way too cool toned. That can go as well. And then lastly in this container, I have two lipsticks by NARS. This one is Belle Du Jour, which looks like this. Uh, let me swatch this. Mm, nah. And then we have this one. Ooh, definitely not. Um, and also, if you see a few things in here that are not cruelty-free, um, I didn't buy them since I am cruelty-free, but I'm not going to throw them away either. If I still like them, I am going to use them up. Um, moving on to what we have here. These are just a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of lipsticks. Um, so let me go through these really quickly. Um, these ones by Essence, I really enjoyed them, but you know, I made my video on them, I reviewed them. So they serve their purposes, and again, I never reach for them, especially these ones in the glossy tubes. These ones are matte, these ones are glossy. So I'm definitely going to get rid of all the glossy ones. And then we also have the matte ones, which I'm going to check and see which shades I want to keep. So I think these are all of them. Nope. I think these are all of them. I see one more shiny one, which I'm going to get rid of. Mm, this is hard. The purple one can go. This pink one can go. This orange one can go. And then we, I am left with these. I like the look of this shade. This is called Mad Matters. So this one can stay. What do you look like? This one is also pretty. It's um, I Love You Me Neither. That's also pretty. Hmm. I want to compare this one to... This is Dusty Romance to I Love You Me Neither. Mm, that one can go. And then I have one last like darker shade. Yeah, no. This one can go as well. Alright, so I kept three of them, which is pretty good if you ask me. And also by Essence, I have these metallic liquid lipsticks, which I never wear metallic liquid lipsticks. These can go to a better home. Then I have a couple of these Max and More liquid lipsticks. Again, I did a video on it. They serve their purpose, but I never reach for them, so... 
I have one more of the metallic liquid lipstick and then also one more matte one. Um, let me see what this one looks like. Ooh, that is a pretty shade. I think I might hold on to that. That is pretty. But this can go. This is a lip balm from Essence from their holiday collection last year. This can go too because it's tinted and I never wear tinted um, lip balms. Um, what else? This can go by Max and More. This gloss by Primark. I never use it. Um, this AOA Studio liquid lipstick was really good, but I have so many already that I never reach for it. Um, this is another one by AOA. This is one by Primark. Um, the formula is really good, but I don't like this color, so bye-bye. What else do we have in here? I have an Essence lipstick. Not really my kind of shade, so that can go. Another mini Tarte one, which can go. A Melted Matte by Too Faced. Mm, I might hold on to this because I do love that formula. A Buxom lip gloss that is just way too tiny and it gets lost in my drawer. I have a Liquid Katsu by Wet n Wild, which I never use. This is an ABH liquid lipstick in pure Hollywood. I am going to keep it just to lighten up any darker liquid lipsticks, but on its own, this is horrible. <laughs> then I have a gloss by Essence, which if I'm not mistaken, I do enjoy. So this one can stay. This is a gloss by Rituals that I got recently, which I am going to hold on to. This Lorac liquid lipstick or gloss, I don't even know what it is, can go. It's a sample size. And I have another Tarte one. I have another by Beauty one that is too old. And another Wet n Wild that can go. This is a Mickey Mouse lip gloss that I got in Thailand. I'm just going to keep it for the packaging. I'm sorry. And then I have this Cute Press liquid lipstick, which... Yeah, that is pretty. I might hold on to that as well. Then I have these um, lip balms right here, which I don't really use. Um, this EOS one is old and not cruelty free, and this is just one that I never reach for. So bye bye to those. Then here in the front, I have a few more lip products. This is a mini Mistine lipstick, which I'm going to throw away. A Catrice lip gloss, which can go. Um, a Mana Kadar lip lock gloss stain, which can go. Then I have an hourglass. Ooh, that is a pretty shade. Let me see what, what it looks like. Yeah, that is pretty. That can stay. And then I have a Tarte Lip Sculptor, which has a lip gloss and a lipstick, which I never use, but I should. So I'm going to hold on to it for now. Um, if I don't use it by my next declutter, then it is going. Then I have a lip balm by Catrice, which always comes in handy so that can stay. And then one by Reese's, which I'm going to pass on to someone else. Um, and then I have one more lipstick by Flower Beauty, which is a pain in the ass because it doesn't fit anywhere. Like, in no container. So for that reason, I think I'm finally going to get rid of it. I've had this for years. I keep it for the packaging, but it has to go. Then here in the back, I have all of these um, new Max and More lipsticks, which were sent to me, and I did a video on them, but these were the ones that I didn't use. So I'm going to give these away to friends and family because I'm just never, ever, ever going to use them. So yeah, they can all go. All right, so then all that's left to do is this container and my lip liners. So starting with this container, hmm. This is going to be a heart one. And I also have a lip balm container, which maybe I should start with this. Um, these can go by Jordana, they're so old. I'm going to hold on to this one by Alverde, which is a tinted one. So we have two lip balms that I am keeping. This one by Catrice, which is a lip oil I'm going to hold on to. Um, this one as well. This one can go. Then I have these two squeezy tooth by Lip Tart. This, I don't even know if this brand is still around anymore, um, but I never use these and they are so freaking old. Um, then I have a sugar lip treatment, which I do enjoy. And two random lip balms that I am going to keep. So yeah, this is now my little um, lip treatment drawer. And then we have these lipsticks, which this is going to be hard. A lot in here are not cruelty free and a lot of them I just don't use. Um, this one, for example, purple can go. Mm. 
these ones by P2 I never use these ones by Catrice I also don't use um, this is also one by Catrice this one as well this is not a color that I would wear um, then I have this one by Essence which is pretty old I have an Al Verde one which um, I never use actually I'm going to hold on to the Al Verde one um, then I have my Wet n Wild lipsticks which I do really enjoy but as you guys can see if it focuses it has some mold on it so this is not sanitary anymore to use, so this has to go. So I'm going to get rid of all of my Wet n Wild ones because they're just way too old. And since one of them had mold on it, I just don't want to risk it. Um, another one by Catrice I can go. Another one by Essence. Essence, Catrice. I just never, ever, ever reach for those. Um, this is one by Elf, which I used to really love, but now this is just not my shade anymore. This one by L'Oreal, Ferris Nude, used to be so hyped on YouTube. Um, but I am going to hold on to it, I think, because it looks like a pretty nude shade to me. This one by MUA can go, Revlon can go, Revlon can go. These used to be all the rage as well on YouTube. Um, what are these called? The lip butters. Um, I used to have so many of them, but I got rid of almost all of them. Um, this was the last one that survived, but it's time to say goodbye. I have Shocking Coral by Maybelline, which is such a pretty vibrant shade, so I am going to hold on to this because it is quite unique. Um, these are two Max and More lipsticks, which I'm going to declutter. Then I have two Pupa lipsticks right here. Mm, this one I'm going to declutter, and this one too. Then I have two Cute Press um, lipsticks, which are an Asian brand. Uh, nope and nope this is one by etude house i think uh nope way too cool toned this is one by Flormar. oh i like that shade this one can stay elf which is super old then i have two more maybelline ones touch of spice and nude lust i'm going to keep both of them um this one by mistine can go what else? This one by Kiko can go, and then this one is also by Kiko, but that can go as well. Then now we are moving to my MAC lipsticks, which is going to be really hard. Oh, this is another Revlon one that can go. Um, this one was a limited edition by Rihanna, and I used to really enjoy this shade, but it's just old and it has to go. Then I have three uh, Chanel lipsticks here, which I'm just going to get rid of all of them because I think I've had these, I'm not even kidding, for 10 years, so this is not sanitary. Uh, and then I have one more here, um, which is a pretty shade, but way too old. All right, moving on to the rest of my MAC lipsticks. This is hard. Um, we have Velvet Teddy. Ooh, that looks brand new, actually. That looks brand new. I'm going to hold on to that one. Then we have Pink Blade. Uh, no, not my kind of shade anymore. Next, we have Honey Love, which is a pretty new one. Um, I got it when I did a Back to Max, so this one can stay. Then we have Lovelorn. Ooh, no. Four which used to be a classic. I might hold on to this one. Um, Snob, another classic, but nope. Then we have Candy Yum Yum, another classic, but I mean, I am never going to wear this. Um, then we have Whirl, another classic. I might hold on to this one because that is really pretty. And then the last MAC lipstick that is in here is in Viva Glam Nikki. Actually, I might hold on to this one because it is quite unique. So yeah, I kept five MAC lipsticks. And then the last lipstick that is in here is another Kiko one, which I'm going to get rid of. All right, guys, moving on to the last container right here. These are all my lip liners. I have a lot of lip liners for someone that never, ever, ever wears them. So I'm going to be very cutthroat with these. I'm going to keep my ColourPop ones. 
Mm, I'm going to keep my Kylie ones because they correspond with their liquid lipsticks that I have. Um, the Bite Beauty one I'm going to keep. This is another Colourpop one. This is one by The Balm, which I got recently. So this one can stay. This one by Max and More can go. Catrice can go. Flormar can go. This one can go. Catrice. Catrice. This is a Catrice lip foundation. I do enjoy this one, so that can stay. Floor mark can go. This is Essence, which can go. Essence. My next one I will hold on to. Floor mark can go. My Urban Decay one I will keep. Floor mark, floor mark. This is Max and More, which I'm going to get rid of. Um, Jordana, not really my shade. Essence, Max and More. Essence, Catrice, Catrice, Essence, uh, what is this, Primark, which is really pretty, but again, I never wear these, Max and More, this is one by NYX, Essence, Catrice, and Essence. So these are the only ones that I am keeping, which is really good if you ask me. I downsize that a lot. Um, so yeah, this is actually everything I am left with. I'm going to rearrange it a little bit now um, and show you guys the end result. Oh, and I also forgot my maybes over here. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to hold on to the Jordana one, but all of these can go. So these are my liquid suede by NYX. Um, so I'm going to get rid of these. And then these two, a bite one and a tart one, I'm also going to declutter. Okay, so this is everything that we are left with. I think it's pretty safe to say that this was a huge success. Um, we got rid of so, so, so many items. Um, I'm going to show you guys what we got rid of, but it's a lot. Um, and this is way, way, way more reasonable and modest. And these are just things that I am actually going to use. So I am super, super, super happy with today's declutter. And I hope you guys are too. All right, so this is everything that we decluttered. Um, I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> So I am really proud of myself, we did such a good job. And then this is a little close up of what we are left with, which is so much more reasonable. And then I wanted to show you guys, this is my vanity right here and this is where I keep my most worn liquid lipstick. So those I'm not going to declutter. That way you guys have a better grasp of my collection. So I have these containers right here and then also my drawer. So yeah, that was it for today's declutter. I will link my decluttering playlist down below because I know these can get quite addictive. I love watching makeup declutters myself. So yeah, that wraps up today's video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.